Hi there, my name is David Boag and I'm a naturalist and a wildlife photographer and the author photographer of quite a lot of books. Now not that long ago I was teaching natural history photography to a group of enthusiasts and I put this photograph on the screen and as we were discussing it and talking about various things I mentioned that it had been taken in a studio. Oh, you've got a studio then. Oh, that makes you special. Oh, that makes it easy. And, and you can imagine the thoughts that went through people's heads. Somehow or other, they seemed to think that a studio was a kind of special thing. But we've all got a studio of some form or other. I mean, you, for example, may use your garden shed or possibly uh, the garage or the dining room table. Surely we've all got somewhere we can use as a studio. Let me demonstrate. You see here, for example, I'm in the garden on an old table that I have there in the garden. I've got some bits and pieces around and about and you can see the camera pointed at an old upturned dustbin lid. Now I've done this demonstration with people actually watching over my shoulder and I'll turn around to them and say, you stop me if I do anything that you couldn't do. And the same thing I want to apply to you right now. You stop me in your imagination, yeah? If I do anything that is so difficult, you couldn't do it. Let's see. Because now I've just sprinkled a bit of gravel into the dustbin lid. And having sprinkled the gravel into the dustbin lid, I've now put some water in there as well. Now that ain't that difficult, is it? Having sort of fluffed the, the gravel about a little bit and flattened it out, I now put uh, that stone into the dustbin lid. You can see that the camera is pointing uh, vaguely in the direction of the stone. Now the next thing I do in this situation is to take some grass and decorate the back rim of the dustbin lid that's behind the rock. You can imagine what I'm doing. I'm kind of camouflaged, you know, hiding uh, the, the, the black rim of, of, the, of the lid. Okay then, so the next thing that I'm going to do now is to take some of that moss that's on the table and decorate the rock. Can you see how I've arranged the, the moss there carefully on the rock? And also I've scattered a few dead leaves in the water, otherwise the water can look rather sterile. And to prevent that sterile appearance, I've also put some duckweed in the water, as you can see in that picture now. And I tell you what gives many of these studio pictures a little bit of extra special life. And that is spraying it with one of these fine mist sprays. You know what I'm talking about? And that's what I've done. The next thing, of course, is to introduce your subject into the picture. And in this situation, I've introduced a toad into the picture as we're now looking through the lens of the camera. See so here now, we have a photograph of a toad sitting on a rock. Ah, but clearly we can see a bit of the edge of the dustbin lid and that horrible brick wall in the background. Well, obviously that is not the final picture. The final picture you see on the screen now. Hey, you could have taken that. At no stage did I hear you shouting, stop, stop, I can't do this. No. It's not that difficult. And this photograph here was even taken using natural light. So no complicated lighting or flash or anything like that. That was purely natural light. You could do this. By the way, if you do decide to photograph a toad, please return the toad to the location where you found it and release it very quickly, as soon as you possibly can after you've done the photography. And incidentally, uh, do bear in mind your subjects. For example, I wouldn't photograph a frog in that way because frogs can jump, can't they? And so the frog could jump right off of the table and cause themselves damage. If you want to see this photograph up full screen or much larger, should I say, go and have a look at my website. And also on my website, you will find a video tutorial that'll give you so many ideas, so many encouraging thoughts about how you can improve your photography. But there's so much for us to enjoy. If only we had the enthusiasm and if only we have the eyes to discover those things for ourselves. Thank you for watching.